What if you could be fair and cheat and always win for free? This scamtacular episode of Scam School brought to you by Squarespace and Gamefly. Welcome to the show that would never ask you, where is this relationship going? Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and I ask you, what if there was a way to play a tricky dice game that was completely fair, yet you could always win, and the best part is, it wouldn't cost you a dime? Well, I introduce you, my friends, to non-transitive dice. Gentlemen, how's it going? I'm Brian. What's your name? Nelson. Nelson and Baca. I know Baca. And Patrick, we met before. All right, so here's the thing. I've got some dice. They're a little bit of kooky dice. And I don't mean they're not weighted in any special way. All I did was I painted over some regular dice and I assigned them my own set of values. Do you ever think of doing that? You just, I know. It's, look, anything's look. For example, uh, let's see, like this blue one here, I did one six and everything else is threes, right? And then uh, this red guy here, there we go, this guy's got one, one, and everything else is four. Well, it took you a long time. <laughs> you know what? I've got nothing better to do, dude, <laughs> besides paint over regular dice. And then the green ones here, I got, let's see, we got a couple of one, two, three, twos, and one, two, three, fives, right? So just the only thing that's changed is the numbers are kind of nutty values. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a little bit of, a, I guess, a betting game here. It's going to be me versus all three of you guys. So you three together decide which color dice you want and reach forward and pull out one of them. Blue. All right, you're going blue? Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm gonna pick red. Okay. Epic forces, red versus blue. Fight! All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a tournament, 10 rolls. You guys designate a roller, and it'll be me versus you. First one to, uh, or whoever wins out of 10 gets the, the free drink. Okay. Fair enough? All right, who, who's gonna roll? I'll roll. You. All right, Baka, ready, ready? Fight! Oh, one for Brian, go. Ooh, two for Brian. Oh. Ooh, one for you. One for Brian. So three to one. Three to one. Four for Brian. Damn it. Ooh, two, two to four. Woo. Ooh, five to four. Uh, five to two. Five to two, five to two. I'm done. Six to two, <laughs> you suck. Oh my God. Damn yeah, it. Yeah, seven to two, come on. Uh, no. Eight to two, yeah. Oh, wait, that's yeah, it, we already hit ten. All right, look, look, we'll, okay, do, we'll do a rematch. We'll do a rematch. <laughs> we'll, come, well, you know, we'll chalk that one up to bad luck, all right? Well, you know the rules now. You pick whichever die you want. I don't know, it felt weird, though. Yeah. No, I, I guarantee, I promise, they are not weighted in any special way. You want to go blue again? No, red. No, green. Uh, Didn't you just today. get curb stopped on blue? On <laughs> yeah, by red? <laughs> I mean, you go, you whatever you want. No, no, no. Are, are you sure you, well, sure hey, you want the I see the a bunch of fives on that one. The green? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. We're doing oh, right. you go with the green? You know what? Not that green. I, oh, you, you want the other green? I'm just joking. Okay, all right. I tell you what, you know, you guys were so harsh on blue, I don't think you understand the true power of the blue. So you ready? You just gotta believe in blue, bro. Yeah. All right, ready? Fight! Who? One for Brian. God Two damn. for Brian. <laughs> Three for Brian. <laughs> Four for Brian! Swole, <laughs> one for you. One, one. one for us, finally. Six for Brian! One off. Seven to two. Ready and fight! Oh, one for you, so it's seven to three. Seven, I mean, once yeah, we got yeah, to seven, went, let's yeah. face it, you were screwed once we got to seven. All right, look. I mean, we could play a third time. Third, third, third time? Third you play one a third time? All right, fine, pick whichever one you want. Let's Go try for a different it. roller. Nelson, right. you want to roll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. All right, which one you, you want? Pick, you which roll. one you want? I'm messing everything up. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've had a bad yeah. day. Yeah. All right, we're going to go green. All right, you go green. I still believe in blue. And I tell you what, I'll even let you pick since you think they're weighted in some way. Pick whichever blue one you want. All right, ready? Hi. Oh, that's one for you, an early lead. This guy knows how to roll. He does. Ooh, one for me. We're tied. Two for me. Ah. Do you know? Three yeah. for me. Uh, no. Uh, four for me. <laughs> oh, one for you. So it's four to two. Let's see this. <laughs> Did you just say you see this kid? All right, it's five to two. Six to two. I at this point, it's already won. It's all over. Look, I'm gonna let you guys off the hook. I'm gonna explain everything once we thank our sponsors. Stumped. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 
let's talk about Squarespace because it's finally here, the Squarespace iPhone app, and it is freaking gorgeous. You can manage your entire Squarespace site on the go, post and edit blog entries, you can upload pictures on the fly, manage your content, preview your updates, access your site statistics, and it's all seamlessly integrated with your iPhone. I'm telling you, you don't even need a computer anymore. You can blog from the bar and claim you're working and kind of be telling the truth. Now here's the thing, you know everybody's moving over to Squarespace. It's no secret, they've got the best system around and everybody knows it. The only question is, whose promo code are you going to use when you sign up? Whose promo code is going to get you 10% off the lifetime of your order? And most importantly, whose promo code will keep you swimming in free drinks? It's gotta be promo code SCAM SCHOOL. All one word, head on over there, sign up now, make America proud. Make your mom proud. Hell, make me proud. Guys, I cannot believe it. We are almost up to 100 episodes of Scam School. And for our 100th episode spectacular, I want you to be the star. So I want everybody to record a short video, 10 to 30 seconds in length, and post it on YouTube. You can demonstrate your favorite Scam School trick. You could tell a quick story of your massive success, or better yet, your failure. Keep it short and to the point. Try to make it cute and pithy, and we'll get you on the show. You can send me the link at brianrevision3.com, or you could Twitter it out with hashtag hashtag scam school 100 and we'll pick it up can't wait to see you guys it's gonna be a monster party now get up there and show me how creative you guys can be all right guys I'm gonna let you off the hook because this is a weird completely paradoxical almost a mathematical impossibility because strangely enough whoever picks first is always going to lose because the dice are rigged in such a way that green will always defeat red in the long term. Now on one particular roll, green might get lucky and actually beat red, but over 10 rolls, it's very unlikely that red is going to win. But weirdly enough, red will crush blue and blue will crush green. So you have a circle of defeat that happens with these. Isn't that the weirdest thing? All you have to do is Google non-transitive dice and you'll learn how all the mathematics work behind it and see a breakdown of all the possible combinations. And the best part is you can actually buy, in this case, I home grew my own non-transitive dice because I wanted to show that you could do it without spending a single dime. But you can actually buy, if you Google them, you can buy pre-made dice that use the same non-transitive configurations for you to try at home. So now that you know how it's done, you should be able to win, right? After all, so what is it? It's it's what beats what beats what? Green beats red. Beats green, green beats red. Red beats, green. Beats, green. beats blue. Red beats green. Blue beats green. Blue beats, beats green, beats green yeah. right? So I tell you what, why don't we, uh, now that you know my only secret, that's all I did, I tell you what, I will go first this next round. And this time we'll double the, double it. Instead of just being for one free beer, we'll go for two free beers. Oh, no. And we'll go and double the dice. We're about to buy two beers. <laughs> <laughs> but you're down for it, right? But we're down for it. All right, let's see how the challenge goes after we thank our sponsors. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Gamefly. You like games, I like games, and Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service that offers you a choice from over 6,000 new and classic titles from all consoles and handhelds. They got plans starting at $15.95 a month, and members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them as long as you like, with no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, just send it back, and Gamefly will send you the next one. And if you really like the game you're playing, just click on Keep It on the Gamefly website, and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. The best part is Scam School fans get a free two-week trial when you go to Gamefly.com slash Scam School. That's Gamefly.com slash Scam School. It's completely free. It's as good as winning a free drink. Get on over there. All right, you know the entire secret. I've held nothing back, right? Of course I held nothing back, well, right? Of course, of course, yeah. of course not. So we're gonna play with two dice this time. I'll go first, and I tell you what, I guess we'll do I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with green here. I'm gonna pick green. I feel good about these two. Do you know that who beats who beats who? Green, green beats red. Green beats red. Red beats blue. Blue, 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 blue beats green. green. Right. You saw that firsthand three times. Yeah. Thanks for us. So me. yeah, no. I just 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 to reiterate, right? Okay. So now you. So that means you want to go with three red dice. Three red dice. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna allow that, but we'll, if you want to go red, you want to go red. Red or blue? Um, it's blue. Green beats red. Green beats blue. It's green. Oh, so of course. Yeah, it's yeah. Blue. It's so blue. blue for, for sure. So yeah. All right. So go ahead and take him. Who's the roller? 
Grab the blues. All right. Same rules. Ten in a row. Showdown. Ready? Fight. Ooh, right off the top. That's one for you guys. Ooh, that's one for Brian. Tie score. Dude, he cannot win. Oh, one for you guys. So it's two to one. One more for Brian. Tie score. One for you. You guys are in the lead. Three to two. Oh, that's right, sucker. Oh, all right, here we go. Oh, that's one for me. Okay. All of us are so bad. I am clearly the superior human being. Yeah. It all comes down to this one. All comes down to this one. Okay. How can this be? I don't know. It was your trick. It was my trick. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you off the hook. Here is the real secret to the non transitive dice that blew my mind. Complete brain explosion. Oh, yeah, he held something back. When I back. found this out. Okay, I did hold something back. <laughs> Screw you. I'm the host of the show. I'm allowed to do that. Here's the thing all the math I told you is totally true for one dice. So when you're dealing with one dice, it really is true that green beats red, beats blue, beats green. Here's the crazy thing. When you double the dice, it totally flip-flops. It inverts. So in this case, think of it as a circle of victory, kind of like we did with the rock, paper, scissors trick. If you're dealing with one die, then it really is green beats red beats blue. But once you add a second die, it totally flips around and red beats green beats blue. Is that not the weirdest freaking thing That's in the world? Cool, yeah, I tell you, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Go ahead and make your own set of non-transitive dice or you can buy them online. Just Google them, you'll find them. But this thing was a lot of fun for me to figure out. It was a lot of fun screwing with you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take Thanks, care, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love the non-transitive dice scam. Not only is it fair, but it's also bogus. But the best part is it'll win you free drinks and it's a mathematical impossibility. It blew my mind when I first found it out. If you want to actually buy some professionally made dice, just Google them, they're super cheap. But if you want to spend no money at all, you can make your own dice by painting over regular dice with the patterns you see on your screen now. All you need is a little bit of model airplane paint in green, red, blue, and a little bit of white. Follow these patterns and you'll be able to make your own. By the way, I know you'll have success stories and better yet failure stories, so I want you to share them with us on the boards at scamschool.tv, where coincidentally you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. And if you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool, or you can follow my goofy adventures and find out when I hit your hometown at twitter.com slash schwood. Next week, we're going to be learning how to recycle paper using pantyhose and wire coat hangers. But until then, that means i got to use some paper, like these coasters and this beer. Beer's paper, right?